All right, as we approach Selection Sunday, let's let's do some bubble oh, watching. Look at that. Play the bubble music. Uh, Seton Hall and St. John's, a game with some major bubble implications. Uh, Joe Lenardi, Seton Hall, first four out. St. John's, next four out, first half. Danis Jenkins, a transition to Jordan Dingle, drains a three. Red Storm up 41-29, 12 point lead at the half, the largest halftime lead in Big East play this season. Second half, Seton Hall down nine. Dylan Aday Wusu in transition up to Al Amir Dawes, knocks down a three. Pirates cut the lead 41 35. Later, Derry Richmond driving inside, fade away. Good. Seton Hall down four. Next possession. Elijah Hutchins Everett stealing. Thank you very much. I got that. Dre Davis slamming. He had 15. Pirates cut the lead to two. Oh, we got the game. Under five minutes remaining. The Hall up by one. Dawes. Top of the arc, knocks down to three, 19 points a game. High powers extend their lead, 57-53. Over three minutes to go. They're up five now. Are they will to Richmond. Lays it up and foul. Richmond 18. Seton Hall would go on to win after trailing by as many as 19. Rick Patino afterward, not happy. I think they're unathletic. I don't think they move well laterally. I don't think they're going to pick it up in the next week. Um, I think they're slow laterally. I mean, Sean Conway gives you everything he can. He's slow laterally. About five guys are slow laterally. Even, even the Celtics, when we lost, I've enjoyed every minute being a Boston Celtic coach. Didn't like the fact that we lost in that following year, but this has been the most unenjoyable experience I've had since I've been coaching. Do you have any second thoughts of taking this job? No, not at all. It's not St. John's. It's my team. I think they're very respectful. They hear, but they don't listen. It, it's taken me a month to get them to throw bounce passes. Actually, two months to throw bounce passes. Just thinking of getting ready for Georgetown because Georgetown could definitely beat us. I'm not even thinking of the future at all. I'm just thinking of the next game and the next game and the next game and that's it. Fin uh, just try to get as many wins as you possibly can and represent St. John's in the best fashion you can. Not happy with his team. After starting the season 12 and 4, including going 4 and 1 in Big East play, it has been a rough go for St. John's over the last five weeks. The Red Storm are 2 and 8 over their last 10 games. Uh, it's the worst 10 game span for Rick Pitino as a college head coach since 1985 86 when he was in his first year at Providence. Drew?